Now, if you're bogged down with Brexit, with just over a week to go before the polls open, my next guest's on a mission to bust the myths in a unique way. Actor Marisha Trembeczka is presenting a musical guide to the EU referendum in character as the singing psychic. Now, before we meet the star of the web series, here's a flavour of the show. I played all my cards. This is what you've done too. Nothing more to say, no more ace to play. Many headquarters of European banks and financial services are here in London and they are all threatening to leave if the UK leaves Europe. And of course they love the free movement of labour and money, no tariffs involved. What will happen if Brexit happens with the, the workers and the visas is yet to be seen, though it will be a two to three year get out clause. The Bank of England governor, Mark Carney, has warned of serious consequences to the City of London if Brexit happens. How As if this? by magic we have you out of character on the London Live studio. <laughs> we do, we do. <laughs> <Hi>. <laughs> Very good to have you with us. It's quite a wacky idea. Where did this come from? Well, the character, the singing psychic, has been a character of mine for a few years now. And now she has does shows. I performed at the Brit Awards after party this year at the O2. I've just done shows in Prague. I did shows in London last year. I'm doing Edinburgh. So she's a character who walks through a world of music. So the idea was that... Every, every Londoner's heart is singing, should I stay or should I go now, obviously. Because it, it certainly seems in London with the polls as well that those are the people who are most confused. And, of course, women are the ones who are apparently going to swing the vote. So it kind of started there and then became this kind of this serious piece of work because I'm an ex-banker. I, I used to work in the city. So I trusted my own research. And I just got sick and tired of people yelling at me and conflicting facts with... You know, they'd yell about one thing and then they'd start yelling about Syrian migrants. And it really has nothing to do with what they were yelling about. I just thought someone out there, admittedly, why me? But that's a different question. Someone out there should give them a very balanced pros and cons. It is pros and cons, facts, no yelling, but with song. It's interesting you touch on your uh, past in mm -hmm. banking because to look at this, it looks as though it's just going to be a bit of good fun, a bit of a laugh, you know, a bit bonkers. But actually, you do know what you're talking about. With some of these issues you're covering, they are pretty in-depth and you try to stay as uh, on the line as possible. How much does your career in banking enable you to, to help people, to kind of break this down for Londoners? Well, I think once you... I used to be a government bond dealer. So I used to take three facts, including a non-farm payroll figure and something the French Prime Minister, President said or whatever, and you'd make views on markets. So it's not really... So the understanding of an analysis of how the world systems work, my degree was in that as well, it kind of... I've got the education. I just thought, why not if not me? If I can help one person... There's three small um, little videos on, on immigration one about the migrants here, one about the Brits abroad. The figures there are astounding when you look at it. And also the thing about migration no one's talking about, which is that EU always links trade, negoti trade negotiation with migration. You know, people... If you're voting because you, want to not, because you want to be out with the migrants issue, then you're kind of a bit screwed, quite frankly. So I just wanted... To, even if one person... You know, there's two um, little videos about two minutes each on farming. I just thought people really need to understand how the UK economy is built with current facts and figures. But, yeah, it's been weeks of work. And then I went to the Cannes Film Festival in the middle of it for two weeks and partied and fell on and off yachts a lot, um, repeatedly. Um, because I had a film there and some projects. So that kind of stopped, but I came back and I'm just like, yeah, me and Brexit. How, how do you <laughs> go about picking the topics that you'll cover for this series? Because you mentioned there, from farming to immigration, you really do cover it all. I haven't covered doctors and I haven't covered arts, but, yeah, I have a massive eight-foot piece of paper in the front of my lounge. I, did, I looked at every single area that comprises what we care about and, and where the EU can influence, including EU regulations... We've got 43 years of EU laws in our legal system at the moment, so if we come out, that's going to be fun. Basically, marry a lawyer is the way forward. Um, and um, because they're going to get very rich if we come out. So it's... I just was looking at what's important, what are people yelling about the most, and what do people not really understand? What sort of response have you had to the web series so far? Um, generally, people have really loved it, but, I mean, one of my reviews from my actual show was absolutely bonkers, but in a good way, and I think that seems to be the reaction to that. <laughs> encapsulate the entire web series. Um, yeah, um, and you could argue my, my, my father probably argues that I'm pretty bonkers, leaving the city to be the singing psychic. I mean, I, I am a normal actor as well. I just thought we have responsibilities as educated people not to do these crazy headlines. 
you know, you look at some of them. Either way, you, you know, you showed earlier the boat, the boat scenario, Waterloo on the Thames. It's just like, can someone have an honest, serious discussion? But I learned something. Is that going to be the next uh, topic <laughs> area for you to cover? Flotillas on the Thames. Marisha, lovely to have you with us. Thank you so much Thank for you, joining Rara. us. The singing Thank you. psychic on London Live News. <laughs>